We're living in an era where we can be apart from technologies, such as mobile applications and website on the internet. We're using mobile applications from the simplest things, such as communicating through each other through social media, and also uh, we're depending ourselves on website on the internet uh, for doing some online shopping or something like that. I, at first, I wonder why is there so much of that kind of product in the world and why is there so much of those convenient to us? Is it easy to develop those kind of things? And that is what actually the first thing that triggers me to start programming. First, I started with learning the logic on how to program it, or is it usually called as algorithm. The logic itself is usually based on two things, which is the first one is uh, looping and the second one is conditional. For looping, the picture is something like this. Uh, take a cat, for example. The cat wanted to walk straight. In order for the cat to be able to walk straight, it needs to do some repetitive things, which is walking, and that is what we call it as looping. Meanwhile, for conditional, uh, we take the cat that we're talking about previously, and that cat, while it was walking straight, if that cat stumble upon a rock in front of it and it needs to avoid the rock, it has to either go to the left or go to the right. And I found that interesting visual programming from Bubble.is and a website called Scratch from MIT. When I first understand the basic of coding, I noticed that there are a lot of programs such as mobile apps developer, website developer, software developer, and etc. Front end are the ones who are working on the interface and displaying the data. Meanwhile, back end are the ones who are working for the functionality of the apps itself, or simply how the program works. There are still a lot more kind of programmers, but it requires advanced skills to overcome it, like security programmer, automation programmer, and etc. After I decided on what kind of programmer I would want to be, I chose the programming language. I've always interested to be front-end developer, and after I did some small research, I found out that a beautiful interface are supported by JavaScript. JavaScript is quite popular, so it's easy for me to find tons of tutorials of it through the internet. It is also applied for you who want to be back-end developer, you could choose PHP as one of the most famous programming language for it. And if you want to develop mobile apps, you could choose one of the most famous programming language called Java. First thing first, don't forget to do research and look for the most suitable programming language based on your interest. Feel free to choose any language, but don't forget to consider the ease of learning, especially if you're a beginner. To boost up the speed of developing an application, try to avoid starting the project from scratch. I usually use an open source library for academic purposes such as Git or NPM and many other things. And even sometimes, inspiration comes from when you're looking through a website on the internet and then you would want to know how do they build their HTML script by looking through their inspect elements. Don't ever give up when you just start coding. It is not a process that you could overcome in and out. And if you discover your first error, there's always a website on the internet that could help you out. For example, such as uh, Stack Overflow or uh, Quora. And you could always enhance your skill by doing some exercises from coding that or coder by or programmer. And uh, just small tips, if you want to start on uh, your own project, start with something that is simple first, such as creating an application for uh, alarm or a clock or a timer and then after that you could start to enhance your skill to more something that is a little bit more advanced like making a chatbot.